All right, everyone. So I wanted to start off the video today by bringing some attention to my account name in Grand Cross Global because it is no longer Salt with an S. It is now currently Zalt with a Z. And I didn't do this as a mistake or an accident. I actually did do this on purpose. And there is a reason why. In fact, it actually does give me an advantage for something in particular that recently came out to the game. And I wanted to explain what that is and also why you might want to consider doing the same. Now, I emphasize just consider it's not a must to do or anything like that i know for a lot of people their account name their identity is very valuable and precious and honestly even for me i didn't really want to do it but i thought it was pretty cool and clever so i've decided to try it out for a little while and you know maybe i'll go back eventually but there is a reason why so also if you are wondering in order to rename your account it doesn't cost gems or gold or anything like that it's just something you can only do once per day and in order to do so you would just simply go to the player info i don't want to open it up because i might have some information there that i don't want to actually put out in a video uh, but once you go to player info you'll be able to do so there so let's get into the reason why i actually decided to do this in fact let's actually go back to that menu screen because you'll be able to see what it is or at least part of it right here and something that we have new here is at the top over friends list you'll actually see eat a meal at a friend's tavern now this is a recent addition to the game and we didn't have this before and now you can actually visit friends taverns and eat their food and it provides several benefits so not only can you visit their tavern look at all their decorations which are probably pretty cool looking but you can now eat the food that they have set up on their table so you know that food that you actually set up with hawk i don't have a video from a long time ago talking about this in detail but it earns you gold every single day just by doing nothing and now people who actually visit your tavern can go and eat the dishes that you have set up uh, gain the benefit of that food by the way which is awesome because you can now save a bunch of food and resources each day if you want to take the time to actually go to people's tavern um, and eat a version of it for free uh, but it also gives you friendship coins so there's many different cool things about this and let's actually head over to somebody's tavern here so you guys could take a look and i'll also tie together you know what this all has to do right here with why i actually decided to rename salt to zalt so let's go to my friends list here and i've already uh gone to the first couple of people so let's actually go to yo wonder and take a look at his tavern here and, and eat one of his dishes and I don't think you'll wonder actually knows that he's going to be featured in a video here, but, uh, you know, maybe he'll realize it as a nice little surprise. So very cool looking tavern here. But the really important thing is bottom right, this eat a dish icon. So what we can actually do is we can visit the table, take a look at the dishes that he has set up and eat one of them, get the benefits and some friendship coins. Really? He doesn't. <laughs> okay. He doesn't have any food. Really? I know I didn't eat here today because I only have two out of 10. So he must not have any food set up. This is why another reason it's really important to make sure that you actually have food set up with Hawk is because you don't want for what I just did right now. You don't want other people to go through this, right? I just came to his tavern. I wanted to eat his food, give him some friendship coins. Uh, and now because he doesn't have food set up, that can't happen. So uh, make sure that you guys have your uh, food at your table set up with Hawk so that you don't run into this unfortunate situation. So let's go to somebody else here. And uh, I don't think I'm going to edit that out because it's, it's kind of funny. Works pretty well for the uh, example in the video too. So let's go back to friends here. And let's go to Smile More because I, I, like, I like that name there. So let's go to Visitor Tavern. You'll see here we'll be able to see all the decorations. But most importantly, let's go and take a look at the food here. Eat a dish. All right, so we've got all the dishes set up here. And uh, you could pick and choose depending, of course, on what that person has set up. And this is another uh, reminder that I would say when you are setting up your dishes with Hawk, you want to try to not only pick food that is going to benefit you and give you the most gold per hour, but also try to pick dishes that you think people are going to want to actually benefit from when they visit your tavern and eat them. So the big ones that I know of is like this one right here, like the gold food, right? I use so many of these always going to be a food that I would take advantage of uh, by visiting somebody's tavern and eating. But another one is like PVP coin food, festival coin. A lot of people PVPing probably burn through a ton of coin food. Uh, so, you know, being able to get the benefit from one of these by visiting a tavern and not using those resources yourself is awesome. And then you have some other really used foods like the, uh, you know, starts the ultimate 
gauge or book one maybe the avoid food as well pure straight attack you know the typical stuff but i would definitely say like the two most important ones or the three most important ones are the gold one the festival coin gain and the ultimate gauge orb ones just pick the ones you think your friends are going to eat the most now when you do decide to eat food here let's go with gold food and uh, not only am I going to benefit of the food, but I'm also going to get friendship coins as well. So you get 20 friendship coins by eating food at a friend's tavern, and you can do this a total of 10 times per day. So that's an extra 200 friendship coins that you get. However, the person who I just visited, Smile More, also ends up getting friendship coins when I go to their tavern and eat their food, which is awesome. Uh, so now you really want to try to encourage people to go to your tavern and eat your food so you can get those extra friendship coins. So another reason to really try to pick out those dishes that don't just benefit you, but are going to be dishes that you think people are going to want to visit your tavern in order to eat. Like I've already discovered a couple people in my friends list here who, you know, obviously Yo Wonder didn't have any food at all. So that's that's a problem. But also people have their food set up, but it's just not really food that I actually end up using all that often. So I'm probably not going to go back to their taverns a whole lot in the future if they don't have food that's going to benefit me. So um, now that you guys understand that system right there, um, I wanted to tie this in to why I actually changed my name to AZ. Well, we all know that a lot of people, what they're actually going to do with this new system is they're probably just going to end up visiting the first 10 people on their list, right? We've got 39 people that we could have in our friends list right now, and uh, you can only visit 10 people's taverns per day. Um, and I actually went through here and took a look at the friends list, and it looks like it is actually roughly not alphabetical, but backwards alphabetical, right? So you've got the people at the bottom uh, who have the numbers that start first, then the A's, and then all the way at the top. In fact, even if you wanted to go more hardcore than starting off with a Z, you could start off with a symbol that actually puts you at the top of the list. Now, I'm not 100% sure if this actually is exactly how it works for everyone or the exact details of the system. I just know this was the pattern I was able to get out of it based off of my uh, friends list right here. So I wanted to make sure that with a Z at the top of my name here or in my name, I would be at the top of most people's list. I would be in the top 10 at least. Like maybe there's a couple people that have symbols uh, in front of their names instead of me. But either way, I think having a Z, unless everybody else after this video in the entire game also changes their name to have a Z, which would be tragic, but I don't think that's going to happen, so we should be good. But uh, I think it should keep me, you know, roughly in the top 10 to be in the safe zone for most people to go to my tavern and eat my food. And I also made sure to set up, you know, reasonable food in order for people. I think I have gold food right now, which I know everybody likes. Uh, to benefit from that so another really cool thing that you'll notice is that when people actually go to your tavern and eat your food uh, not only are you going to get friendship coins but you'll also see your calculate sales uh, warning go off here and you get uh, I'm getting a thousand gold I think I actually don't know if it varies I've only done this once before let's see 16 18 so I guess there are two people there we go so two people um, you know just in the last hour or so actually went to my tavern and ate my food and you can actually click on this icon right here this is to rearrange your tables so you know make sure if you guys haven't done that i might even right now like i see i've got three gold foods here just because i you know i set this up a long time ago but i probably only need to have one of those and then and you know instead of one of these ultimates i'll put out like pvp food uh ultimate oh, i'll have that one already pierce food evade food attack food you know things like that make sure there's enough variety so that when people visit uh, they're gonna actually get something out of it But you'll see this guest book icon right here and you can actually see the people who have gone to uh, Your tavern to eat your food and if you want to return the favor There's also for the convenience there just a, uh, a quick visit tavern button next to those people as well so it might not seem like a really big deal, and it's not game-breaking. This is why I said at the start of the video, you might want to consider changing your name here, but it's by all means not a game-changer. However, those additional friendship coins, they are going to pile up. You know, the difference between now getting an extra 200 friendship coins by going out to other friends' taverns and doing this, possibly another 200 or so friendship coins by people visiting your tavern, well, folks, it seems like I got a little bit too distracted and I forgot to actually include this important footage here. I know I talked about it, but I didn't actually show you in my mailbox. So not only do you get friendship coins, would you actually go out and visit your friends' taverns and eat at their dishes, 
but you're also going to get friendship points when they come to your tavern and eat your dishes, which is why, of course, I wanted to get that extra advantage to show up at the top of people's friends list so that they're more likely to actually go to my tavern rather than other people's taverns before they've gone to all 10 out of 10. So go into the mailbox here. If we go to the friendship listing, you'll see the very top is eat a dish. You receive friendship coins for eating at a friend's tavern. So that's actually me going out using one of my 10 entries to visit a friend's tavern and eat one of their dishes. But then this next one here, sell dish, you receive friendship coins because a friend ate at your tavern. So that you don't have to do anything with. That's when other people actually decide to go to your tavern and eat one of your dishes, you're going to get those friendship coins right there. So obviously an incentive uh, to try to get people to go to your tavern, which is of course the whole reason why I wanted to have my name start with a Z rather than you know something in the middle of the alphabet. All this adds up and there's some very, very useful stuff that you can actually buy with these and just being able to accumulate more of these every single day uh, is going to allow you to buy more useful stuff like 200 friendship coins for pvp entry tickets you can buy uh the three entry orbs for 2000 that's one of the those are the two things that i probably recommend the most but there's also other stuff like stamina pots that you can buy so more friendship coins is never a bad thing Anyway, um, I feel like I've given a decent amount of info in this video. I've kind of explained the story here, tied it all together, and I hope that you guys enjoyed and were able to put at least some of this information to good use. So, you know, if you guys are going to keep your name or whether you're going to change it, either way, I hope that you guys enjoyed. And until next time, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a fantastic day. And uh, until next time, this is Salt of the Salty Guild signing out. There should be more Seven Deadly Sins Grand Cross Global videos popping up now, by the way or the suggested videos to your right or below, feel free to check them out if you'd like.